Welcome to the third video on Options Desk Primer series. In this video, we will learn about the Futures OI Sense and Options Flow features. So we all know about the four conditions for a particular Futures or Options contract, which is based on OI and price change. So let me repeat it here again. So for a particular Futures or Options contract, if OI is increasing and price is also increasing, then we can say that the long buildup is happening in that contract. If OI is increasing, but price is decreasing, we can say that it is a case of short buildup. Similarly, if the price is increasing, but change in OI is in the negative direction, then we can say that there is a short covering going on in that contract. And on the other hand, if the price is decreasing and OI is also decreasing, then we can say that there is a long unwinding going on in that contract. So let me repeat again, this concept applies for an individual contract, whether it is a futures contract or it's an options contract. This helps us to predict the direction of the market. Now coming back to our options flow, here we have taken only futures contract and for futures contract, we are comparing the OI change and the price change. And based on that, we are giving these OI sense, which is long unwinding, short covering, long buildup and short buildup. So it is being updated at every three minutes. You can also see the spot LTP as well as the future LTP over here. The same phenomena can be observed for a particular options contract, but for options, we have done it a little differently. So instead of taking individual options contract, we have taken a clue from entire options chain and calculated put call ratio as well as difference between put and call contracts. And based on that, we have decided whether the trend is bearish or bullish. Now, instead of selecting the entire option chain, we also have the option to select the strike ranges from here. So I hope you understood this concept. Now, let us also explore the other features. So in the search bar here, you can search for a particular index, say for example, Nifty, Bank Nifty, Pin Nifty, or you can also search for stocks, say for example, Reliance. So now this is the options flow for Reliance. From here, you can select the range. Now we can see this data either in the form of table or in the form of graph. So in case of we are viewing in form of table, we can see four matrix. So we can see it in terms of OI. You can see that matrix have been changed to OI or OI change or volume or the turnover. If you think in a logical way, OI change should reflect the most correct values. We can also see it in the graphical form. So here we can see it OI, OI change, volume and turnover. Also, we have an option to replay these intraday data. So let me press the play button. And now this is how the data is changing intraday. Thank you guys.